today I'm going to show you how to play uh, a popular old country song uh, really made uh, famous by Johnny Cash. It's called Folsom Prison Blues. And many of you know, if you've been to my, my YouTube channel before, I use the magic cards. And in this case, we only have three cards in this song. The G, the C, the D. So it's a great beginner song. It's not hard to play. And we're only using three cards. Now, if you haven't been here before, I'm going to show you my way of playing the G, C, and D. And it really makes it much easier to be able to play the card, make them sound correctly, and be able to change from one to the other. And the way we're going to play these, for the G, you're going to take your ring finger and your little finger and put them on the first and second string, which are the little strings on the bottom, right next to the third fret. You're going to take your first finger, put it on the fifth string, right next to the second fret. And you can take your second finger, put it on the sixth string, right next to the uh, third fret. So first finger on the fifth string, second fret. Second finger on sixth string, third fret. And your ring finger, your little finger, are locked in on the first and second strings, third fret. Now they do not move. These two stay locked in on all three cards. That's where the, where the real uh, nice thing about using these cards this way is that these two stay, stay right there. You're only moving two fingers to get from G to C to D back to G. So we'll start with the G. And we're playing the G. And we're going to go to C. All you have to do is drop your first and second finger down one string apiece. Now we're on the fourth and fifth string. Okay. Second, third fret. These two at the bottom are still right there on the first and second string third fret. There's C. And now to go to D, just move your first finger to the third string, second fret. And your second finger is off the strings at that point. So from the C, just move your first finger to the third string, second fret, bottom two still locked in, and that's D. Okay. And then it goes back to G. Two bottoms locked in, G, first and second back up to the fifth and sixth string. So there's to it. Now what I would recommend to start with, if you do not know these cards, is take the G, do about four strums on it, and then go to C, two, three, four, and then D, one, two, three, four, and then G. Now, when you when you strum it on the G, you want to strum all six strings. On the C, you want to strum uh, all but the top string. You don't you try not to strum the top string on C. So the fifth string on down to the first. It's okay if you you hit it uh, when you're first starting out. It's really easy to to hit that top string, but try not to just stay on the uh, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And then when you go to D, try to hit the first the first four strings from the bottom. Okay, the fifth and sixth strings, try to stay off of those two with a pick. And again, it's not a big deal if you hit them, uh, but as you get used to these cards and be, be able to control your pick, you, you'll be able to get to where you just play the full card sheet and get in C. And by doing that, it's going to sound a lot clearer. If you, if, like for instance, if you're on C, if you're hitting the five strings, first five, and not hitting the top, that's what it sounds like. If you're hitting the top, so it's not a lot of difference. Just a little bit more clarity, and the same thing with D. You hit all six strings, you can hear what it's doing, but if you hear just four, you can hear the difference. So keep that in mind, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to start with a G, and we're going to just uh, use down strokes, okay? Come along with me. Now we're going to go to C. Just drop your first and second finger down to the fourth and fifth string. Back to G. D. Time. C G 
that's it. So I would recommend j just using down strums. If this song's brand new to you and you're a beginner guitar player, just use down strums to start with it until you can get playing these chords. And try to play them in that order, G to C to D, back to G, and it just keeps repeating over and over. All the verses are the same. G to C to D, back to G. All right, now I'm, I'm going to go through it just strumming it. Listen to, to my rhythm. When on strumming, I like to talk about strumming as timing. Uh, think of the strum pattern as a drum, a bass drum. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four. You know how the song goes, and you, you, you listen to the chord changes, and listen to the time you can hear the chord changes within the song. And so instead of learning down, down, up, up, down, etc., push all that out of your mind. Just strum with your strumming hand. Let your pick, let your wrist relax. You want to use a thin pick, about a .38 millimeter is what I use. Somewhere close to that. Not a long pick, thin. And again, just let your wrist relax where you can strum back and forth. Now you may have a little struggle when you go to change cards. Say you're playing G and you go to C. The strumming hand may want to slow down or even stop while you make your chord change. That's fine. Just Keep working and keeping the strumming hand going, and all of a sudden you'll notice, wow, I'm being able to change cards and keeping the strum going. It just happens. But the down, up, up, down, etc., that would just get you totally confused. So don't don't approach it that way. Just work through it with your strum, okay? Now I'm going to strum this, uh, this song, uh, and, and you can listen to it first. together just strumming okay and I'll call the chords out to you song your own. It doesn't have to be played exactly like the recording. You want to make these songs your own. Uh, that's what it's all about. Having fun, playing the guitar, playing songs. Enjoying what you're doing. Uh, when, a lot of people, when they first start out learning guitar, they think they have to play uh, 100 chords and, and all the, uh, the lead and the uh, bar chords, etc. You don't need all of that. Use these cards the way I'm showing you. There's, there's four cards involved. I'm, I'm not showing you the other card today, but if you search here on my YouTube channel, four cards or magic four cards, you'll learn what the other card is. But with those four cards, you can play thousands of songs. That's all you need. If you're looking to learn guitar, learn easy and quick. Within within, you'll be playing a song, maybe this song, by the end of the day. If you've been playing a little bit, you will be able to play this song. Uh, by the end of the day. But learning songs is the absolute easiest way to learn how to play guitar. That's it. There's no other easier way. You don't need all these 
Uh, other thing I'm sp I was speaking of just, just now about the bar cards and scale modes, etc. Don't need any of that. Okay? Alright, we're going to start with the G. Strum along with me. Let's have some fun. And like I say, if this strum hand tends to slow down and stop, just work at it. Keep it going. Get to your card and pick it back up. Change card, pick it back up. And just work your way through it. Okay? Start with the G. change keys without having to place say bar cards etc someone's singing in a key you're not familiar with you can take this uh, capo put it on the proper fret and play your standard cards and not have to play the cards you're not familiar with but if you're brand new to the guitar or been playing for a while doesn't matter get you a capo it is fantastic for beginners reason being um I'm going to show you, if I put this capo, this clamps right on, on your guitar neck, on the string, puts pressure on all six strings. All right, now I've got on the second fret. So what it does, it's acting like if this white piece, if you took the white piece and it's right up here where the capo is now. So you would play your cards, the G, C, and D, uh, right here on the second and third fret, just like we were doing. Okay, this is the first fret now. This is the second, third fret. So you play it right here. What the capo does, when you're first starting out, you may have an uh, inexpensive guitar that's got strings that are high from the neck or really hard to press. Um, and what the capo does, when you clamp it on, it brings the strings closer to the fretboard. Makes it much easier, super easy to play. You, you'll be amazed how easy it becomes to play if you then we, if you didn't have to have the capo up here on the uh, second fret, if you just play an open 
Without a capo, much harder. If you use the capo, especially as a beginner, it's going to make a world of difference. The pressure becomes much easier, like I say. Okay? And then also, you're having to move from one fret to the other for your different card placements, your different finger placements. And if you notice from here, and as you go down, you'll see the fret spacing gets closer and closer and closer and closer. So as you move your capo, that, that fret spacing becomes closer. So you're not having to reach as far to get to your notes for each card. You can even take that capo and bring it up here on the fifth fret. And you can see it, the, the distance is changing now. So it makes a big difference in the way the card plays. Of course, the sound goes up too. And, and you can create some beautiful sounds with it, with a capo. But you can hear it play just like this with the capo. change the sound of the guitar because you're moving up you're shorting you're making that neck shorter and shorter and as you do that the sound gets higher and higher get you a capo absolutely new to guitar intermediate advanced you can do it will do wonders for you allow you to be able to play the chords much easier make them uh, be able to move from one chord to the other much easier Capo. This is a little Kaiser capo that I've used for years. There's all kinds of capos, but the Kaiser makes a really good one. And like I say, it's been around for years, so it's proven itself. But whatever kind you get, they all work pretty much the same. They clamp on a little different, but they all do the same thing. So get that capo. One final thing, a couple of final things. If you, you need to keep your fingernails cut so you can make the card, make the tip of your finger go down and press the notes properly. So keep the fingernail short. I always preach that. It's very, very, very important. Okay? And always, also on your cards, uh, when you get up to your neck, try to keep the palm of your, your, your inner part of your hand as close to the, in, the bottom of the neck as possible. And what this does, this allows your fingers to come around and go up and over more in a vertical uh, position to where you just touch it in each string you need to be touching. If you don't do that, you get, a, get too far away, you'll see your fingers start slanting. And when they do that, they'll start touch the strings next to them. So just a couple of little tips on that. And again, one other thing, uh, keep your guitar in tune. You have to play on a, on a properly tuned guitar. And they make some really nice electronic tuners. And they take all the guesswork out of it. Uh, you Just get you a... Inexpensive electronic tuner, super important. You want to play on a well-tuned guitar all the time, whether you're brand new or you're a professional or whatever the case might be. Uh, you, your guitar needs to be in tune. Uh, so keep that in mind. And I believe that's it. If you would, if you enjoyed this uh, song lesson, leave your comments below. Tell me you did. Um, and while you're here, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to learn more songs and uh, have more lessons little tips and tricks also i post a new video once a week sometimes twice a week so just subscribe to my channel while you're here hit the red button below there's a little bell symbol click that bell symbol and every time i post a new one you'll be notified so so do that for me that also helps kind of uh, boost my channel here and uh, have more people to know about it be able to come and learn how to play guitar I, I want to teach everyone how to play guitar that wants to learn it I've never had a person not be able to learn. If you really have the, the want to learn, uh, learning the way I teach, you'll learn how to play and it won't take long. You won't be looking at months or, or years. You'll be looking at days or a week or two. And you'll be playing cards and songs. Uh, and with four cards, like I said earlier, you can play thousands of songs. Till next time, let's go have some fun and play some guitar.